Who are you looking for? A man. Don't make you uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, you did. I saw yeah. you go. I saw you go. Continue. Homophobe. Hi guys, welcome back. Today is one of those days we're gonna do a Q and A. It's actually Whoa. been what? Primed. 14 months since our last one. It's been a while since our last Q and A, and we thought. Minute. Obviously things have changed, there's been movement and growth, we like talking to you guys, we like answering your questions and also to be honest, we can't get out with quarantine. Self isolation's really got our brains working overtime so we've thought a Q&A... You was haven't a done anything for four days! Sammy's desperate for a haircut, we can't leave the house so um, we'll probably be cutting that in tomorrow's video. It's, <laughs> it was supposed to be across, it's supposed to be a fringe, but now I'm having to push it up and get wispy bits here. Stressing me out. If you're new here, please make sure you press subscribe and also the bell notification button next to it and make sure you press allow all notifications so you can stay up to date when we do more Q&As, post on the community tab asking for more questions and all sorts of things like that. I ask for questions on Instagram and we also ask for questions on Twitter so if you aren't following us in those places feel free to but also you know I'm not going to come for you if you don't. Gnome said if you could be in any TV show or movie what would you choose? I think it had to be a superhero film. Um, no, that's a lie. Star Wars, 100%. I would be a Jedi, mm. um, just because I want to have a lightsaber, uh, and then I take it home with me and keep it on my shelf so I can look at it constantly. But not everyone can be a Jedi. Whereas if you were in like Harry Potter, for example, there's a higher chance of you being a wizard. Because otherwise you just wouldn't be in Harry Potter. I'd have all sorts of wands for different occasions. Why do they never invent wand accessories? That seems like a really untapped market. They could get like like cases for your wand, you could get like skins for Dude. your wand. Nobody wants a vajazzled wand. Yeah, they do. No, like, they don't. Imagine how well they would sell in Essex. Hiya, 134340 says, what has been the best concert you've been to? Um, I've got two that I'm going to say here. We'll say the first one at the same time. Three, one, two, two three. three. Monster BTS. X. Oh, okay. We saw BTS at the O2 Arena the first time they were over here twice. Uh, Sick. So good. Um, what I hadn't seen from a concert like that in an, in an arena uh, is all of this performance coming together in like a streamlined way they had all these special effects they had such a good presence on the stage but I think for me the love, best love, part love. was the audio this, it was just the O2 yeah. is made for shows the audio was so good Wembley isn't as strong um, but for me the best show I've seen live was Monster X um, I mean if anything they're, they're neck and neck with BTS to me but I was just really surprised at how good they were and I think that's what I think I've seen loads of live performances BTS, I've seen them live twice, but Monster X I hadn't seen live before and they were just sick. Stephen Robb said, what's something that you would tell your younger self and why? I think that's obvious, I think I've kind of said it in previous videos. Peach um, hair was a mistake. Don't do any kind of dyed fake dye, kind of diet, what? This is a highlight. Yeah. It's a lift actually. Mm. I don't know what it is. Be brave, be bold, be courageous and also um, I don't know. I think I've said it. I, I said it in video two videos ago. So I've really got nothing else more to add. And I this think... is a channel about both of us. No one cares enough here a third time. If you had to do over life, what would you do differently, and what would you make other choices? And that is from M. M loves these deep questions. Um, I would do YouTube, but I wouldn't let all the third parties get involved that really obscure what you need to be doing in life. We've had some dodgy management situations over the year. Swerve like a swerve like a, a turd on the road. Dodge them. You don't dodge a turn on the road, you, you just do. drive over it's it. It's coming at you. It's coming at you with full force and intent. What you do is dodge it. Well, turd Get out. Turd on the road is normally on the pavement, so why would it be moving at you? Um, I probably would have come out a little bit sooner. That's the answer to that one. Um, but in reality, there's not really much I would change. I've been really happy. I've had a really fruitful, eventful life. I think I maybe would have made like business decisions that we've made a little bit sooner, because I feel like they would have impacted our lives better. But do you know what? The biggest standout one for me was um, when we were doing Wembley SSC Arena for a big gig all those years ago, like 2016, and I, I called Bista, 20,000 people in the audience, and I said, Bichester. And I saw one of the mums go, oh my god. Abdul Khalid 99 said, still single after coming out, huh? JK, uh, I love your videos, hi from Sweden. More single than like ever, actually, to be honest, because um, the coronavirus hit. I'm supposed to go on a date on Tuesday. Oh, I'll tell the story. Um, he downloaded Tinder, and now we can't go on any dates. Um, so nothing's changed. So we're going. It's going well. Um, Still I, third wheeling, aren't you? I had um, plans and cancelled them because of coronavirus. Your nickname's now Reliant Robin, isn't it? Huh? Reliant Robin. I've got three wheels. You're, th you're a third wheel. Caitlin says, "What kind of animals do your neighbours have?" Zero. Absolutely none. No, we are. That's a lie. That's a lie. 
two doors down, they've got a dog that does not stop barking, oh and it goes dog. in the garden like it's like, whoa, whoa. but it's not a, not a proper dog, not a proper dog. Oh. It's one of those little ones. And what they do is they leave it out for an hour, and I'm fairly certain that's animal abuse. Our immediate neighbours don't have any dogs, and you know what that means? They hate animals. And do you know what that means? No. I hate them. No, calm down. What I was saying is they don't have any animals, but they do have loud children. Which is the same thing. So this is a question that I've been avoiding answering on social media because I don't want my whole coming out experience to be dictated by a relationship. Um, I am on dating apps. Um, I'm trying to do the dating thing. I'm currently not in a relationship. Um, and that's that. That's the answer. I was have trying you, to build Have it you up. been on dates? No, because of coronavirus. So, uh, how would you... This moves on to Amanda's question. A dream first date. Um, so, okay. Actually, I'm going to change this question because I'm going to propose to you a scenario because I know you've got no coping, you can't cope. Um, okay, let's meet at a restaurant. Um, you know, let's meet at a bar. We'll go for a drink because then you're not committing to meal. Mm -hmm. Firstly, we're all poor, but then secondly, you can get out. You're not tied down to sit through three meals, uh, three courses. So you're like, okay, we're going to a bar. No, but part of the meal thing makes me feel more comfortable because you know within it when it ends. Whereas if you go to a bar, it's kind of like. What is it, two drinks and then you, if you're not feeling it, you're out or Look, what? Like they're all here to play ball, they know how it works. You're terrible at advice. It's not advice, it's just like get in, time is of the essence, you're approaching 30, crack on, get going, move on. I'm not approaching 30, I'm 28. Yeah, well you're not. You're approaching not appro 30 is when you're 29 and a half. You're not approaching 20. So what I'm saying is you need to get going. Who are you looking for? A man. Don't make you uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah you did, I saw yeah. you go. I saw you go. I actually have a type, I've decided. I've got a type. Great, let's Which, it. right. So I was talking to someone on the phone, a friend on the phone about this the other day, and uh, I said how it's exciting to me because when I came out, obviously because I hadn't really explored that side of myself, I didn't know what I was attracted to. Um, I think I have a type, but maybe that's another video for another day. Uh, I was thinking at the someone moment- Someone as very single as you, or? At the moment I was thinking, do you know what's really weird? Sad and desperate is your type. Initially I was like, I like blue eyes, but I don't. I mean, I don't not like blue eyes. I like brown eyes, I've decided. Um, and I also like brown hair. This is something else I've decided. Um, I you know what, I don't care enough. Let's move on. Oh. Carry on. Oh, I've noticed as well that I tend to be swiping right on a lot of Canadians and a lot of Australians. I, it's, that's coincidence. It's not like I'm you going, my bam. Bum. What? You just smacked my bum. <laughs> Uh, so if you're a Canadian or Australian or a personal trainer, then let's hit it up. Let's say hi. If you're a Canadian personal trainer. Yeah, it's not much to ask. I like to think that love is blind. Probably. But then, you know. Except my girlfriend's hot, so. Linda! You're hot, aren't you? This is from Timo. Um, hey Timo, uh, are you planning on- Why are you like, you were like, Oh, this drawing's from Timo. Hi, Timo. You just like Timo's been a fan for years. How are you doing? Are you planning on going to Pride? Well, if it's not cancelled, we were. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna happen anymore. Um, it's kind of ironic that my first out summer uh, is pretty much written off. Because mm. if Boris Johnson's saying 12 weeks from yesterday, that puts us firmly in the middle of June, right? Does it? Three months. April, April May, May, June. June. Yeah. And that's only to get over the outbreak, that's not mean it's going to be gone. So who knows? I did really want to go and I was looking at even going to like Brighton or um, that's it. I know Manchester has Pride but it's quite far. I will go to Pride if there's space, um, but I also don't want to take precious space from people that the are. The theme of Pride this year is allyship. Why do you keep bread in the fridge? Because it's where it belongs. It's cold and fresh. Cool dark place. Like my heart. This is the longest sandwich ever. Put it on my plate. No, it's not. It's two bits of white bread with crust on with butter. Just butter. Yeah, it's not a sandwich then. What's the, no, 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 it's not a sandwich. You've not put anything I'm not making in. a sandwich. I'm making Carol said, who do you choose in Mario Kart and Smash Bros? Easy. Is it easy? Because they're different. In uh, Mario Kart, I go for King Boo or Link. Uh, in Smash Brothers, I tend to go for Mewtwo or um, Cloud. I can't remember his name though. Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Brothers and Palutena and in uh, Mario Kart I am a Koopa Trooper or I like to go for... You've lost Smash Brothers though. Yeah, it's, I know it's gone. Well, I want it, I want it, because if I'm quarantining for four years... You can play online with people now as well. Also, if I set up a GoFundMe, can they buy me Animal Crossing? Because I'm really poor at the moment and also I can't afford like 50 quid, 60 quid on a game. Have you ever had a crush on your teachers? I was year six and I had a teacher called Mrs. Robbins. Um, blonde lady, yes. But I actually really can't remember what I, she looked like now. 
And one time I called her mum. Um, she looked nothing like my mum, but everyone's done that. And then, um, I guess it was a crush. I was only year six, though, so maybe it weren't. And then everyone else at uh, um, senior school. This is what I'm discovering as well. Like, I'm accessing parts of my brain that just we didn't think about. Uh, I definitely had a crush on a couple of my teachers. Who? Nah, sure. I feel like everyone at school, people might watch it. Yeah, what if they watch it? Who? That's not what I mean. No. Abby said, how are you coping with isolation? Clearly not very well. To be honest, I've been self-isolating for at least six years. I'm really good at this. It's fine, like, I mean, it's a long haul. I think the, the only difference between this and anything else is that now everyone's doing it. Because um, we've been doing it for years. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, what do you wear when you work from home? And I was like, clothes? Been wearing jeans every single day of my life. Like what? What is it? Like I'm comfortable in jeans. Why would I be comfortable in sweatpants? Like you don't just become ugly when you work at home. Yeah, you do. Some of you might, but I don't. I've become my hair's become greasier. Like no matter what I do, I think it's because I'm really. I'm reading a lot and I've been playing oh, with my hair. Oh, it is quite greasy. Not right now. No, it is. I shine on it. Have you seen your summit? You've got grey. No, I don't. I don't have grey hair. God. I wish I I'm did. 17 minutes behind. That means I haven't got long. Oh wait, yeah, I want grey hair. You were born first. Oh wait, I was born first. I wanna know from you guys though, are you in self-isolation where you are in the world? Um, everyone seems to be making it into this big hoo-ha, but like, do your bit, keep the National Health Service protected, or, or whatever your health service is in your country. Wash your hands every two hours for 20 seconds with soap, and don't go out unless you're getting food. Also, we all know those dicks that are going out saying, if I've gotta keep working, I'm gonna have a social life. No, do you know what then? Fine, you do that, but when you get sick, please don't call the NHS, just keep it to yourself, you know? Because that was your choice, not mine. Don't be selfish. Okay. What is your weirdest celebrity crush? Um, I'll tell you my first. This I did is... fancy Cheryl Cole. What? You know this. Back in the day when I was like seventeen. Linda. Um, Marina and the Diamonds. You fancy Marina? You still do? Yeah. My first celebrity crush was Brendan Fraser as Georgia Jungle. It was a good time. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. And then she was a teacher in Well, not Katy Perry. Surely if you like Zoe Deschanel, no, you I like... No, because I like Emily Blunt, Katy Perry, and the other singer that looks like I didn't say I like Emily Blunt. No, I'm saying... I'm saying that if you like Zoe Deschanel... Zac Efron. <coughs> and probably still to this day, because we're the same age. Well, he's, he's older than me. No, he's like 31, right? He's older than me. But anyway, I've always fancied Zac Efron. Isn't he married? No, you say this all the time. Really crushing quite hard on Anthony from Queer Eye. Um, oh, so that's my type. Canadian, brown hair, brown eyes that can cook. I like I'm not Canadian. Anthony, keep up. Anthony from uh, Queer Eye. Gavin and Stacey, mm. Ad Fab, Vicar Dibley. It says, what do most people think about you that is untrue? Um, I think people probably think that you're quite nice and honest and a trusting person. But actually I'm deceptive, dishonest, and I'm a liar. Yeah, so. And I think people think I am um, horrible and really mean. Um, and who thinks that other than me? Rotten, 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 but actually I'm not. I'm like really nice, I'm, I'm really kind, I'm very compact, I'm very considerate, I take on everyone's emotion, I'm an empath. No, I think what um, people think about you that isn't true is that you're interesting. So thank you for sending your questions. Um, we are really looking forward to making more content on this channel. It's been a time this week, what, we're getting ready for the quarantine, trying to find potatoes, don't ask. We've that been to mission. so many shops looking for potatoes, it's not even a joke. I've we thought long and hard about what video to make next and we kind of got caught up on the idea of like, oh no, it needs to be an interesting video because blah blah blah. But actually, we're just gonna slink back in this way and I feel like this is interesting enough. No, I do want to do a live stream format every month and I'm kind of thinking of having a quarantine live stream. Quarren stream. Uh, that just involves me having lots of red wine whilst I try and enjoy my life. I'm like, the amount of red wine we've gone through in the last seven days. Like, we've gone through every a night, night I'm night. drinking. Like, a bottle a night, easy. But... <laughs> There is three of us, and that's one glass each. <laughs> Two glasses each. Well, yeah, but it's not out of control. Mm, mm, mm. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and press the subscribe button and the bell next to it because that's good for your health. Also, I would like you to leave comments on this video for a future Q&A that we do further down the line because it's easier than keep asking you guys for questions. Yeah. Um, my mouth's really dry now, so I'm gonna go and get a drink. Yeah. Also, finish my sandwich as well. Also, I forgot to add, doing kind of a quarantine book club on Instagram um, with some of the books that are there uh, so if you are reading in this in insulate in what's it called if you're reading in this isolation period and you want to give any of those a go follow me on Instagram because it's where we're talking about these things I'm playing Breath of the Wild and that's gonna take me at least 300 hours so I'll be doing that goodbye <laughs>